Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know it's All City Live TV, and thank you for tuning in. What do you guys think is the one thing that's more important than any amount of badges that you can add on your player? Any amount of attributes that you can add on your player? There's one thing that's more important, and there's definitely one thing that you guys should consider before taking your player out there on the court. What I believe is the most important aspect of your entire game is your IQ. IQ above everything defense wins games. So a lot of you guys may centers, but unfortunately you don't know how to play the center position. You don't know all of the responsibilities that encompass the role of playing a center. So how do you guys increase your defensive awareness and up your defensive IQ? You up your defensive IQ by watching gameplay footage or videos like this one, explaining better ways to play defense out there. So you got your friends out there saying, hey, we need somebody that can help us grab boards. You say, all right, I got you. I'll fill that void. I'll make me a 7-3 center that can grab boards. I'll get his rebounding badges and we good money. But nah, you have no clue about defensive and offensive positioning as a center. So let's talk about defensive positioning as a center. Now there's different variables to consider, but if you're playing, let's say the first scenario, you're playing against a perimeter shooting team. Now, if you're playing against a perimeter shooting team and they have a, say, a glass cleaning lockdown that's setting big body screens out there on your teammate, then you need to come up toward the perimeter as a center. Try to do the math. You say, well, I'm running with shooters. They're running with shooters. If I'm a center and I can prevent a shooting threat, then that means that they might have a pick and roll. So the, their center might score on the inside and you may seem like a liability but if you're able to prevent them from shooting threes and they're only scoring on the inside that's only two points and you come down and you take your three point shots you do the math by the end of the game you come off with the victory because all too often i'm seeing centers out there that are staying dead in the paint i mean not even budging dead in the paint not trying to move or help their teammates off of screens and those perimeter threats are killing and they'll see the man shooting lights out off the screen shooting lights out off the screen and they'll still stay in the paint this is not the type of center that you want to be out there so you come up eliminate that shooting threat and i promise your teammates will appreciate you for it all right so the next thing that'll help you on defense is keeping your hands up trust me there are way too many centers out there jumping in the paint exerting energy which eliminates their chances of grabbing a board after the shot attempt just keep your hands up trusting your badges trust in your defensive attributes i know a lot of you guys are like well hands up defense is really broken this year and i have to i have to agree with you on that hands up defense is broken but what's more broken is having a center out there that's jumping off of pump fakes for absolutely no reason and not even getting a board right after the shot attempt and the next thing i want to mention is passing lanes Getting in those passing lanes to prevent or intercept passes is really crucial for a center in the center position. You help your teammates out tremendously by just putting yourself in a position to prevent the pass, let alone intercept the pass. Hopefully you guys found this information useful and if you want me to get more in depth about how to play defense, you know, increasing your defensive awareness and increasing your defensive IQ, then let me know in the comment section below or hit a like. Just show me that you guys really want that information and I'll make a more detailed video about how to play defense in NBA 2K20. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please consider subscribing to our channel as we're going to have a ton of NBA 2K20 content coming your way and if you want to stay connected with me and the all city live tv community then join our discord the link will be in the description below easy y'all